guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and please give a warm round of applause to my dad! <laughs> it is Father's Day when I'm filming this and I'm going to edit it so you'll see it on Father's Day as well. And for next Father year. next year. <laughs> for Father's Day, um his gift to me <laughs> is a video. Hey, so. I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm easily interchanged, you're cheap, it works well. Um but I got my dad in front of the camera and I'm so excited because today he is going to be picking out my TBR for next week. So I've seen a couple people do this a couple different ways, um, but the way I'm going to do it today is that I have a couple stacks of books over here, yes, <laughs> off camera, um, where he's going to look at the cover. If he feels so inclined, he can read the description of them, and he's going to pick between three and five, depends on how much he thinks I read, um, and those are the books. Per day. Per day. <laughs> I can quit my job and take a week of vacation, just do that. Um, and then those are the books that I'm going to be reading and then I will be doing a vlog for that week. So I will talk about the books and you guys will see me read the books that my dad chooses for me. So. Wish me luck. <laughs> we'll do that, but before we do, do you have anything to say to the peoples? Give a round of applause for my wonderful daughter. <laughs> well, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Okay. Let's start. Actually got some time to sit down and do nothing. Or relax, I yeah. guess I should say. Before we get up and turn around and go Don't and do something. Don't slow down. Yeah. Till the next Father's Day. Yep. <laughs> um, I, should, I was going to say, my dad is a pastor. Um, and he also works outside of being a pastor. So he is always busy. Um, but... He definitely always makes sure to take, he takes time for family and just staying involved and he's always been very supportive of my channel and my blog and all the traveling that I do. <laughs> he's always been very supportive of my dreams and I am very thankful. Um, he has let me take over the house with all of my books and only complains this much. Only on days that end in Y. <laughs> But I have been blessed with a very wonderful dad and a wonderful pastor because I do go to the church as well. Um, and yeah, I have a pretty rockin' awesome family and I'm very thankful for them. So, yeah. Yep. 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 All right. Let's get started. So. And we're off. And we're off. Ugh. Oh my goodness, it's so loud. Okay. So I have a mixture of books here, and I will show the camera what I have and show you guys, and then... Two, four, six, two, four, six eight, ten, twelve. Almost 70, 20 000. books here. <laughs> um, I have a mixture of books that I need to read for review, some books that are on my shelf that I just kind of want to read. Um, whatever just looked good while I was walking around. So let's start. First I have... The Lines Between Us by Amy Lynn Green. And I will say this, so if you have any questions, I don't know what any of these books are about. Me either. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> so this is uh, The Lines Between by Amy Lynn Green. I have Where the Road Bends by Rachel Fordham. The Metropolitan Affair by Jocelyn Green. Vanna White. The Weight of Air by Kimberly Duffy. Fairest of Heart by Karen Wittemeyer. Heard of her. Mm -hmm. I talk about it all the time. The Vanishing at Castle Monroe by Jamie Jo Wright. Heard of her. That's her, right? Yes. <laughs> A Midnight Dance by Joanna Davidson Politano. Another Amy Lynn Green book because they both sound great and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to put on this list that he could pick from, so I said, why not both? Uh, and that is the back Blackout Book Club. Then I have Authentically Izzy by Pepper Basham. 
this one I grabbed because uh, it has to do with, I mean, I know we weren't Lord of the Rings people, but Andy Griffith is mentioned in this. So, grab that. Uh, the Cupcake Dilemma by Jennifer Roadbowl. It's a good thing I don't get paid from this channel. You're going to get me demonetized. <laughs> no. You sound exactly like. <laughs> but I didn't do it for 30 seconds. We didn't break code. The Green-Eyed Prince by Brittany Fitcher. The Summer We Forgot by Carolyn George. Wow, I really did pick a lot, didn't I? The Love Audit by Anna, Anna Conwell. Anna Conwell. I should probably figure out how people pronounce their names. The Rejected Sorry, King Anna. by Courtney Kiesel. Um, this is the series that you guys bought me for Christmas. I figured, hey, you haven't read I it should yet? probably put it's been it on five the list. Months. When the Day Comes by Gabrielle Meyer. Set the Stars Alight by Amanda Dykes. And finally, <laughs> Tiger Queen by Annie Sullivan. So, those are the books that you can pick from. So, mm. have at it. Move them around. Read the back, ask questions, you know, judge the cover. Too stiff to bend over, move these things around. That one, the description's going to be inside the in, flag. Yeah, but I want to see what other people Oh. Are. In the desert kingdom of Accra. He's looking at the Tiger Queen by Annie Sullivan. It is, I'm, what's that story um, where they, like an old it's a retelling of some story something about like the Colosseum and the door you know the two doors no one there's a tiger behind one door and someone has to pick between the two doors I should no. really figure out what that story <laughs> is set the stars like This is going to be like an air it's an Oh, let's see the episode. Oh, she when she Maybe I should have read these things beforehand. <laughs> but where's the fun in that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Tell me, do you have a strategy? Nope. Good, good man. Good man. That's me when I go into reading. I was gonna smell them. <laughs> well, it's a fucking <laughs> How do you say this word? Novella? Yeah. I've heard people pronounce it different ways and it throws me off. Novella? I think in Spanish it's novia. Hmm. I, <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I There's no rolling so. R's. R's. <laughs> I'll read the first page, the last page, and then I'll save you having to read it. <laughs> Let's put these here. You see, he's got separate stacks going, and I'm trying to figure which out is which, which is dun, which. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, I can't do that theme either, can I? Swikus box already? I did. I did the Haunting at Bonaventure Circus or Bonaventure. I heard people pronounce it both ways. Have you subscribed to her book club book box? Faith and Fiction, Faith book, and box. fiction book box. A new one coming in September potentially. I'm reading a book. I should be reading a book to see if I can create a uh, book for it. Is that the one where she finds a shot dude? Um, she discovered an injured man ah, on her injured. property. 
So if you know he's shot, why do you need to read the book? No, I don't know if he's, I don't think he's shot. She has another character who was shot. And I've read that one. She likes to injure her characters. <laughs> That's how she starts her stories off. These, we'll put aside. Okay. For nose. For nose. All right, his nose are. Oh, don't tell him. Oh, I have to. Okay. You want me to wait? No way. Okay. His for sure knows. The Weight of Air by Kimberly Duffy. Authentically Izzy by Pepper Basham. And The Summer We Forgot by Carolyn George. So these are on his no pile. I picked a lot of good ones for you to choose between. So. You put that on the pile. Set the Stars of Light is going to the no pile. Man, make that sound. <laughs> I will say Your the not. Your friends are not going to like me. <laughs> the not right now pile. He only has three to five books that he can choose. There are a lot of options. So I do like those for now. For now, okay. Um, we'll hold off on that one. All right, another not for now. A midnight dance. Mm, put that on your reading pile. Thing My there. reading pile. <laughs> If you pick a novella, you can do five or like three to six. I was gonna say, uh, so novellas take me like 30 minutes to read. So put that one over there. We'll okay. keep this one. Alrighty. The Cupcake Dilemma is going on the knot for now. I think you need a little history, so we'll put history. this one on your. Mm, these are going over there. When the Day Comes and Tiger Queen are going on the Not For Now list. Put those over there. All right. The Metropolitan Affair and Vanishing at Castle Moreau are also going on the Not This Week list. Not quite a novello. Novella. <laughs> it's a, it's novella or a novella. <laughs> Missing an L. Cut that out. Alright, <laughs> All right, I'm going to make her start reading the Christmas series. <laughs> I don't want to waste money. <laughs> <laughs> so she can read The Rejected King. Alright, you want to tell them, are these the books? Those are the books. Alright, you can give the full rundown. Full rundown. For what? The what books I am reading. Cause I, so are these for sure the ones we're locking in on? We're locking in on them. Rejected King. Again, this is a series she asked for for Christmas, so yes. might as well get her started with it. The Lines Between Us. This says it's a um, based on a true story, right? Um, what does it say? I found something that I like. Um, based on true experience of the men who fought fires as conscientious objectors in World War II. So that's Lines Between Us. In case you didn't get enough history in school. I, I probably didn't. I was going to, I almost called this the green-eyed frog. <laughs> close, close enough. The green-eyed prince. A retelling of the frog princess. have no idea what that's about, but I'm sure she'll enjoy it. It is a novella. Novella. And then the love audit. Everybody needs a love story in their life. Agreed. And she'll cry through it, I'm sure. <laughs> Fairest of heart. This actually, the stumbling through it looks like a very easy read. So, um, once upon a time in Texas, we love Texas. The yellow rose That's of where Texas. That's my sister is. That's right. So here is Fairest of Heart by Karen Whitmire. I'm so excited to read this. And then where the road bends, hoping maybe she'll get some direction and. Uh, <laughs> Learn how to drive and know when to turn the wheel. <laughs> that's, oh, that's not a driving book? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. It's historical. Where the road bends. <laughs> Talking about the family land in 1880 and the injured man. The, the injured man. Not I'll the let you know man. if he was shot or not. I don't think he was. <laughs> I can't so, remember. Rachel, this one's for you. <laughs> so there's All right. Your, there's your five and a novella. Yes, my five and a novella. 
And I've got a nice mix too. I've got a couple fantasy, I've got contemporary, a couple historical, and you gave me a good mix of actually an equal break between books that I need to read for review and books that are just on my shelf. So I'm excited. I'll send you the check when oh, you're all done. Oh man, I can't afford you. <laughs> well, <laughs> You've lived here 24 years. I can't afford you much anymore either. <laughs> We'll just call it even, how about that? <laughs> so these are the books that I have been tasked with reading for the week. So I will be starting them, well, I guess one today because it's the start of a new week, huh? True that. True. You got Sunday. seven days to read six books. Yep. I can do it. She I can, can do, do that. It. I can do that. Especially you pick some good ones. So I'm excited. Do you have any predictions? on what I'll rate them, which will be my favorite. You'll read them all. Okay. From there, I have no idea. <laughs> You'll just have to watch the video to find out, I guess. So, thanks for joining me today, Dad, and Thank taking my books. Thank you for having me today, Princess. I'm excited, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Father's Day. Uh -huh. I hope you had a nice Father's Day today. So far? So far. It's still Now we get the dog out and get him taken care of. That's how you spent your Father's Day, taking care of other people. That's huh? right. One of these days, someone will take you out and they'll pay for your birthday meal or your Father's Day meal. I know. Meal. <laughs> they'll take care of me, put me in a really good I'm home. Say, we'll put him in a really nice home. <laughs> All right. I think that's it for this video. I hope everybody has a wonderful Father's Day, whether you're a father, you have a father, you're here. Um, or whatnot. If your dad is still alive, hope you got to see him. If not, give him a call, talk to him. Um, if your dad has passed away, sorry. Hope you were having a wonderful day. Um, and tune in for the vlog that will be up at some point of me reading the books. It's I Father's Day, whether you're a father or not. It's true. We don't just say Merry Christmas to Santa Claus, do we? It's true. It's true. It's true. It says it on my planner. Father's Day. That's right. June 18th. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Don't forget you can check out my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram at for the love of Christian Fiction, and all my other links are in the description box below. Think and please it. no down pink thumbs. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten one. Well, hopefully you won't get one with this either. <laughs> I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!